Hey, he was blitzing Burns, blitz Fire, blitz Falcon, whatever it may be. He's going to blitz the face of the tackle here, and then we got a go call on the edge right here. So it's been a good complimentary blitz for us. It's a good brother uh, to what Burn is. They end up running this uh, as a one back, and we will sometimes, if this guy starts cheating out and getting outside of the tackle, if they're inside the tackle, we'll start changing it, start calling it a banjo and two back and things of that nature. They start getting outside of them, we'll change it at times and make it a one back. Right here, this, this star linebacker is trying to figure out, hey, is this going to be a one back or a two back? They declared it a one back, which puts him in the pill. So the wheel linebacker is the edge blitz right here. The corners are manned up on one. The strong free safety rather is manned up on two. Our strong safety is manned up on three. And our nickel, I'm sorry, our nickel is manned up on three. And our strong safety is playing the root. And then our, our star linebacker is manned up on him right here. So, again, we're wanting to cut the field in half. We'd much rather be running something like, like burn versus this just simply because we've got eyes. This is where eyes get us a little bit. Of course, we've got play action going on here. We'd much rather be running burn on something like this, but if we run burn, they, they recognize the three under three deep, they start hitting this stuff. Does a good job, obviously, of coming off the edge. We're going to read this guy. Man, if they're going to block out on us hard, we'll begin to shut down our, our blitz if we feel like this is a run block. We'll shut it down, set the edge. If we feel like this is a pass block, then we'll sit there and continue to sit there and rush this. Mike Linebacker does a good job of not giving it away. He's going to blitz the face of the tackle. Tackle goes out, then let's be real Real tight, this would have been one of those good examples of the tack drill that we were doing earlier in the bags. I mean, if he would have sat there and shot his power hand, uh, you know, shot his hips, he gets around this, he gets skinny through it, he gets to rip through it, all of that stuff. He'd have a lot more power with it. Up front, they do a really good job of, hey, if you're going to block down on me, then we're going to sit there and we're going to cross face, and we're going to guarantee that this ball stays hashed this way. We start hitting gaps. We start giving a lot of different gaps in here. We want to make sure that these guys right here, especially this one, knows that, hey, the field's going to get cut in half from hash this way. So I know I can play from a run game standpoint. I've got him man, and I can play from hash over. So it gives him a lot of confidence. He also knows that he's got a guy manned on this sniff. So he brings him to the party. So, man, we got the two backers back in the box. You got your five-man rush, you got your two backers back in the box, and then you've got an opportunity to make a play. 